Hello everybody and welcome. We're gonna work on some blueprints in this video. The super double jump and triple jump of uh, Mario 64 history that was uh, previously done in the C++ style. Uh, we're gonna do it in blueprints. So again, no IDE is necessary. You don't need a code. You just need to have a basic understanding of Unreal Engine and some blueprints. So let's get to it. In a previous video, I showed how to bind on character movement updated the animate functionality. So if you are not familiar with that, go ahead and look up that video so that you understand what is going on here. However, if you just want to jump around with a third person character, the 2D style that I am doing is not necessary. You want to have an input action labeled jump when pressed, target, you're going to jump. So that's your first step right there. Next. Look up event on jumped. Grab your character movement. You can do that by just looking character movement, get character movement. And we want to set notify apex to true. This is going to be required so that this event on reached jump apex is called when we reach the top of our jump because we're going to modify our gravity there. So grab a bind event to on reach jump apex. The event that we want to bind is another custom event, create it and just name it modify gravity. That modify gravity, character movement, change and set your gravity scale to 5 so that at the top of the jump suddenly our gravity goes up. After we've notified the apex back on the on jumped event, if you are using the 2D character such as uh, I was using, um, we want to freeze the animation when we jump so that we're in a little run motion but we're not running in place in the air. So sprite set the play rate to zero and the sprite set playback position and frames to zero fire events. So call that as well when you jump. Make a variable of integer called jump counter and increment it. Jump counter starts at zero. Make a timer handle called jump reset and clear and invalidate the timer by handle. So you can look for timer handle to find that structure. When we land, there's an event called on landed that this gets called when we land. Grab your sprite, set the play rate to one so that it starts playing again. Grab your character movement, set it to 2.8. Jump counter, if it's greater than two, you wanna branch off of it. And if true, set your jump counter back to zero. And if false, both of them come into modified jump power, which is also a custom event that we've made. This custom event grabs the character movement and sets the jump Z velocity with a select node. We're using our jump counter to drive the index. The jump counter decides what level of a jump we're doing. So if we're at option zero, it means that we're it's our basic default jump power, and that's gonna be a thousand. If we're at option number one, our jump counter is one, then we're we've jumped once, so we wanna go up to 1400 power. And then our super triple jump is option two, and that's set to 2000. This is like an array. We have 0, 1, 2, not 1, 2, 3. After we call modify jump power, we want to set a timer. And this is our reset timer, so if we don't jump within 0 0.2 seconds, we're going to call an event. Off of our set timer by event, grab the return value and set our jump reset timer handle structure to this event so that when we clear and invalidate it, these are tied together. This is where we set the timer, this is where we clear it. And the event that we're calling off that timer, drag the event down to another custom event called reset jump power. So this will be called when this timer of 0.2 seconds finishes. And what this custom event is doing is it's grabbing the character movement and we're setting our jump Z velocity back to our default 1000 and we're setting our jump counter back to zero. Some defaults that you want to set, character movement. I've set the gravity scale to 2.8. It's heavier than the one, so we feel a little less floaty. And then our jump Z velocity set that to 1000 by default. So with those set, and you have your character, if you jump within the time, you should get that Mario jump right there. And it should feel like you're coming down a little bit further we can actually see that if we go over here and we grab our pure BP paper character go to character movement lock it we can watch our gravity scale right here 5 and then back to 2.8 a 
as soon as we hit the apex of our jump, it goes up to 5, and then drops back to 2.8 when we hit the ground. That's how you do the Super Mario 64 double and triple jump logic with blueprints only. Until next time, see ya!